Hello YouTubers. This is another tutorial for me for um transform this is a tutorial for transformations in moving. Um keep in mind if you don't have this version of moving, fourteen or four two thousand two, this is not for you, but you can make your own file for transformation. But if you want to take the easy way for this you need to have this type of version, fourteen oh four two thousand two, the beta version of moving. Okay, <clears throat> now when you're making a transformation, of course, you need to import all your sprites. See, I have uh, my guy's normal, and then he has his Super Saiyan sprites. He's going to transform to a Super Saiyan, see? And I've already pre made the transformation, which means I'm not going to be working through this with you, but I'm going to show you what you need to do. So, just letting you know, here's all the sprites, that I'm not going to do it with you, but I'm going to show you what you're going to need and how you're going to do it. Okay? So, you need all your sprites, it doesn't matter where or when, but um, here's the requirements, okay? First of all, you're going to need your common one CNS file from your data folder. And uh, what you're supposed to do if you want to make your own transformation without, you know, me, here's what you need to do. Find anything that says change anim or anything that involves anim, which means animation. So if you see a change state, don't mess with it like this one, see? This one doesn't have anything like this. Now for anything that's like animation, so it says change anim and has a value for it, or anything that says anim equals or does not equal, you need to put this. If else, variable 5 equals 1, 10,000, and 5, 5. This basically means when variable 5 equals 1, it will change to this uh, animation instead of this one. The variable 5 is not set to 1, it turns to this one. That's why it's called an if else statement. If this equals this, do this. Else, do this. So now that you have that, you have to go through your entire common one CNS file and put it everywhere in here. But for the people that have 1404 2002 version of moving, you don't have to do this because I already have it made for you and I will put it up for download and you'll see it in the description. Now once you have your common one set up, or the people that downloaded it, you can now go to your animations. And when you go to your animations, here's a requirement for, uh, for what you need to do with your sprites. Here's your standing animation, normal. Here's your Super Saiyan standing. Okay, now see how the begin action numbers change. Whatever number you already have, you add 10,000 to it. So, so uh, let's find turning. This guy's turning, his begin action under 5. So if you add 10,000 to that, what do you get? Ah, oh, 10,000 and 5. Whoa, scary, right? You need to use the calculator. It's right there. So, just saying. So, I'm like, crouch turning 6, 1,006. So, I'm crouch 10, 10,010. You just add. So, once you get all your animations together, blah, 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 go to the end. Okay, let's see if we can find it. You should make an, uh, a custom move. Let's we'll see. Find transformation. Okay. Let's we'll see. I think this is it. Okay. Yeah, this is it. This is my custom transformation. Give it a begin action. I'm going to make it a move. If you don't know how to make a move, go see my tutorial on how to make a special move. Now, here's your transformation move. He stands there and there's a whirl around him. If you see my character. Now that you have your animation, um, you're going to want to go to your constants file. And you're going to want to make your own custom state. So let's see. Let me find mine. Stick on. Almost there. Four. Mm. 
Okay, I must have missed it. Hold on. There it is, right there. Okay, mm, this is where we made it, uh, we need to change to Super Saiyan. Okay, now most of this you won't have to do. What I want you to focus on is VAR set. Now, let me just look, let me make sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you go up here, right? You're gonna want to make a stake depth. Your type is you're going to be standing. Your move type you're going to be idle. Your physics you're standing. But if it's an air transformation, you can change all that. Blah blah blah. You don't want any control until your uh, animation is over. So you set your control to zero. Your animation is two by two, five zero five. But you don't have to actually set that to that. You can set it to your begin action on the transformation. So you set it to that. Then you're going to want to make a bar set. The bar set is what you're going to set the variable to. Remember when we were in the common one file, I told you there was an if else statement. Bar 5 equals 1, 10,000, you know. If else bar 5 equals 1, 10,000, 5, blah, blah, blah. You kind of have to turn, know what these are. So it's also kind of common sense for the common one, which is what I did mention. Um, it's kind of common sense. But just remember whatever the original value was that was in front of pattern. You just put if else and you just get a 10,000 what it was. So say this was the turning animation right here, trigger 2. And it, uh, it said anim equals 5. So that's your automatically tell you if else bar 5 equals 1. You add 10,000 that, you get 10,005. And if not, you just put 5. So you have to kind of um, change it a little bit. If I remember what the other value was, say this one was 10, so now it's 10,010. So easy. Total. <clears throat> but um, back to the constants. We're doing a variable set. We're gonna do v equals five, which means var five, and the value is gonna be one. So during your transformation, your value is gonna change to one. And what's right here? If the value changes to one, what happens? Uh, there's the ten thousand. Easy, right? So that's you have your bar set. That's all, you're almost done. So uh, let's find one of my moves that requires you to be Super Saiyan. So, um, no, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. So when you get to let's see, you're gonna want to get to the lose by time over. You're gonna want to go find that. And this is not saying your common one. But this is what you want to be here because ima imagine when you um. If you lose and it goes back to your normal state without even showing a transformation back to what it was, right? So you're going to want to have a uh, by time for every for Super Saiyan and normal. Sorry about that, I have to go for just a quick second. But, um, uh, for the lose time over. Um, you don't want it to, well, you just saw her me say it, but, um, you don't want an animation for a lose by time over if you're transformed or if you're not transformed. So, all you have to do is just basically remove what you have for anime and put if else bar 5 equals 1, add 10,000 to what the original value was, and then put the original value back here. So that way it'll be like that. Let's see. Same thing for your wind poses. And you're going to want to do it for lose by time over, wind pose one. Um, probably not for introduction since you won't transform while you're coming in. You won't be able to probably. Um, for your taunt, you're going to want it. Okay, now for your light punch. This will be kind of um, different a little bit. You can still do the anim for the original value. Now for your damage, you can do this if you want. Let's see. Well, yeah, you can do this if you want. Um, since months is six, that's for something completely different. But uh, for your, if you want to change your damage if you're transformed, you can also do this too. Just set to bar five, not six, because six is for something else in my character. But um, it works sort of like that. 
but same thing for the standing medium punch. You're gonna want the anim to be 10,000 what it used to be, and the health value to be the original. Same thing for strong punch, light kick, medium kick, strong kick, etc, 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 etc. Still etc. Still etc. Okay. Throw I didn't worry about at all. If you know how to, if you've learned anything from what I've already taught you. You can probably do this yourself. But I don't do grabbing and throwing. I think that was always stupid. Doesn't seem good to me. And that's just that's about it for transformations. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I left something out. One sec. Oh yeah, one, this is the last thing for it. Okay. You're gonna wanna add this to the very bottom to state negative three. If you don't know what state negative three tells you up here. State set right two and cell state value state that three. This means it always doing it's like a timer like every second it checks it really fast but um you put a change state so if your uh, trigger all you want if your variable five is set to one it'll go to this if it's not it'll go to the other thing it'll go to your normal value so you want to put this at the bottom state and three change state trigger all equals variable five equals one uh, you don't have to put trigger one equals power equals zero Unless your character's transformation relies on power, which means you can do it then, but yeah. You gotta use your animation and your air, begin action number, control equals zero. And that's about it. That's it for our transformations. If you have any more questions, ask me. Thanks for watching my tutorial on transformations. I'll leave the Comment one CNS link in the description so you can use it and watch this tutorial. Bye guys. And I'm not dead by the way. I'm just really lazy. Don't like making videos anymore. But this was fun. Bye guys.